And we're live. And uh, that uh, beautiful, beautiful voice you heard in the background there was Nori. She uh, She's not joining me for the stream, but she is in the living room because she's got a lot of university stuff she needs to do. So if you hear stuff, blame Nori. Uh, <laughs> welcome. It's Tuesday. And uh, I figured before we get back into um, OpenMW, I kind of want to talk about a game. A very very strange and uh, peculiar game but one that i've been following uh the developers twitter for a while and honestly it, the game looks amazing uh well it doesn't look amazing it, it's pixel art and it's good pixel art don't don't get me wrong truly hipster pixel as the case may be hello jill and well Part of the reason why I like it so much, or the big reason why I like it, uh, is, you know, outside of it being, um, roguelike, because I suck at those, but I do very much enjoy the roguelike genre, uh, it's a, um, th they specifically advertise it as simulating every pixel, it's like, everything is accounted for unlike me uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah it, it is every single pixel is simulated you'll get to see that in action in a little bit I'm just showing you one of the secrets which you go down here you plop a bomb and then you run away before you start to lose health and the water drops how about that <laughs> I think we're going to need more bombs we always need more bombs. <laughs> okay, that is a uh, bit lower. It's nice. I wonder if I should use the third bomb, but if this is good enough. Just because I kind of want to get up there and still have enough water to make it up there, but without drowning, which is nice. <laughs> So, away we go, yes. Indeed. Okay, so, I'm not entirely sure what this scroll here does. And it's, uh, it's got a description. Oh, oh crap, oh crap. <laughs> well, I died without even reaching the dungeon because the giant worm ate me. That That's something that happens. <laughs> FX boy, no, I can't. Not this year, because uh, this month is um, a little bit tight on money and I really can't afford it. Even if uh, I was to take Van up on the offer of uh, the car, it's, uh, yeah, it's a bit too much for me. So, yeah. Now, we're going to hit new game and the game is going to disappear for a little while. Don't worry, it quits to the desktop and starts itself back up whenever you hit um, new game. So... Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's leave the uh, the worm and the scroll to their devices. And let's get cracking. Okay, so that little water you see is because I'm wet. Because I'm standing in water. You see my character is a little bit wet. Wet clothes protect you from fire. There. Pretty self-explanatory. Now the F key makes your character kick something. That minecart is going to cause some um, wreck down below. And I gives you the inventory. One and two allows you to switch between the uh, starting one and the bomb starting one. So pretty easy. That's about the only tutorial uh, that j you get in this game. And yeah, th then the game immediately throws stuff at you. It's like, okay. <laughs> and that shiny is a wand. A wand because, well, as the name would imply, if you speak Finnish, uh, Noita means witch. It does look like Risk of Rain, yes. <laughs> and this one casts one spell. And that one spell is 25 firebolts. Okay. 
45 damage. That's more damage than the uh, spark bolts that we have that does 3 damage. So it is of limited use until we get to the end of the level and our spells regenerate. But that's good. And now, now comes the interesting bit. Because, well, um, every pixel is simulated, right? So you can see the smoke coming out of the uh, the fire wand is actually pulling up at the top there. And if I shoot a bit of wood, it catches on fire. And the fire just keeps raging as long as it has some kind of fuel. And yes, it even spread to the top one because, you know, heat rises. <laughs> so if you thought that fire in Minecraft was a little bit too destructive and you could very easily recreate some terror scenario from uh, a movie or another. Well, this game very much gives you that, only in 2D. <laughs> and slightly smaller pixels. Oh, hello! <laughs> yeah, Mr. Fireball Man downstairs is a very, very powerful enemy. And I guess the game really isn't kidding around. It's like, okay, <laughs> you're taking too long, so... <laughs> And yes, being a witch, I can levitate, but only for a short time. You can see the uh, yellow, yellow orange bar at the top there. It depletes as I hover. <laughs> I thought I was going to die there. <laughs> Oh, he died. He is made of fire, so fire doesn't affect him very much. But, can't really do much when a block of wood falls on your head. <laughs> test failed? How did a test fail? <laughs> yeah, th it is... They're not kidding when they say every single pixel is simulated. And I love it. And, like, the degree of customization that you have for your wands and the spells you can cast using those wands is also very, very good. And there's a big enemy downstairs, but it's already on fire. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Shooting acid at me. <laughs> I need to get out of here. <laughs> That'll do. That'll do. Oh. <laughs> no, it won't. There was one more. <laughs> uh, yeah. And the rest, well, it, it's a roguelike. You just have to keep going down and keep progressing through the levels. Or going up if you can uh, figure it out on uh, how to uh, get up there. And there was a wand here. Because this glowing brick usually means that a wand was there, and I... <laughs> that person had a shotgun. <laughs> the best of wands. <laughs> and the fire is raging, yes. So if you're covered in water or in blood, it will protect you from fire. For a limited time. Also, if you dunk yourself in some acid, you start taking damage like those little enemies down down there. And there's another one of those fire bastards. Can I drop a bomb? I don't know if that hit it or not. <laughs> I think it did, because I just killed it. <laughs> Very nice, and let's try not to uh, take a bath of acid, because that's very, very damaging. What are your thoughts on Momodora Reverie Under the Moonlight? I have no idea. The name sounds familiar, but I, I've never played it. I don't think I've ever even seen a trailer for it. What kind of game is it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be a pretty good bad name. <laughs> and, oh, 
I see the end of the level. And this is extremely dense rock. You can't get rid of it all that easy. And this is another scroll. The Tabula Smaragdina. Gesimtite. Uh, if all the mountains were made of silver and gold, what would they profit a man who lives in constant fear of death? Hence, there cannot be in the whole world anything better than our medicine, which has the power to heal all diseases of the flesh. And where you use these scrolls is actually at the very start of the game. It's not easy to get there. It's very, very hard. Oh, I own it? Yeah, that probably says a lot more about my Steam library. <laughs> I don't know, I'll, I'll give it a try. What kind of game is it? Metroidvania? Alright. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll have to give it a try then. That person throws dynamite. And that portal right there is the end of the level. Now, this being a roguelike, it's full of secrets and since you have bombs that can, you know, open entire chunks, uh, of the map up it makes sense that there would be secrets and that you would be uh, sort of tempted to do the whole should I explore some more or should I just go to the portal I still have 56 health I only have 194 gold so I could probably get a bit more of that to maybe buy a better wand or do something although I do have a better wand I just need to use it more because yeah <laughs> And now the base of the portal is on fire, so you gotta hover to get there. <laughs> okay. And this is the uh, little level transition where you get some health. Now, it used to be that this heart only recovered your health, but now it also uh, gives you an extra 10 health. Because I guess the developers realized... Probably the game's a little bit too hard, and people aren't doing too well. There's some fishies. Yes, you can kill the fishies, but it's pointless. And this one, I can buy this. No, I can't buy this one. This one is 50% off, and all it does is it has the spread spell. But it doesn't have any other spells. It does have more max mana than... Okay, you know what? I'll, I'll buy it, just because it, it it could be useful to upgrade later on. And... <laughs> Mir, I heard that. I heard that in my head. <laughs> okay, it only has two slots, but if we move the bombs down here and then put this here... Double scatter spell. Simultaneously cast two spells with low accuracy. Plus five degrees. Okay. So, it should improve our starting one a little bit. Well, the last shot. <laughs> okay. Now it's on the second shot. There we go. <laughs> Alright. And this, is, well, this is just... You made it down another level, so you get to pick a perk. And this one is low gravity. This one is extra maximum HP from hearts. If you can find one of those hearts... It'll give you more max HP, but it won't heal you, so, eh. And strong levitation. I'll take strong levitation. That's it. <laughs> and as soon as we depart, <laughs> the level entrance goes, yeah, you're done. <laughs> no more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and level two, and the game is really not messing around. <laughs> because I'm already losing health and I've only just got here. <laughs> yes, headshots deal more damage. <laughs> Not that it makes much of a difference because this wand doesn't deal all that much damage, but headshots deal more damage. Okay. Du -du -du. Yep, that's why I did just want to drop. That's... Okay, there's a chest and shotgun people, and of course I blew up the chest, because <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> Don't shoot the chests. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> Still alive. <laughs> and yes, the screen shake, it happens. I'm not entirely sure why, but it stops after a while. <laughs> Probably got something to do with a story that the game never told me it had. Which is okay. Again, totally fine with that. Kick the cart down there. <laughs> or, you know, don't. Oh, hello. <laughs> and now the cart's on fire. <laughs> and there's another friend. <laughs> that friend's on fire, so we're good. <laughs> I kind of have to go down there, but those guys deal a lot of damage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I need to use this once some more. It deals a not insignificant amount of damage. <laughs> As in one hit KO of the bastards. Oh, that one had a wand. You'd stolen a wand. And since this one doesn't cast anything anymore, I'm just gonna drop it. <laughs> Interesting one. <laughs> Ooh. Fireflies. <laughs> okay. I see the problem with using this one. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Let me run away. That works. <laughs> Far from ideal, but it works. <laughs> and what else? What else? Well, there is that bit there, which now that I have a one that can disintegrate the terrain, I might be able to get there. At least it doesn't hit me. When I'm shooting it this close, oh, I see what the downside is. The regeneration of the mana, which is a blue bar, it's, it's very slow. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Sauce. <laughs> yes, this one uh, just shoots band sauce. <laughs> <laughs> and it's great, except if one of those saws hits you, I guess it's more of a shuriken, I guess. <laughs> you take damage <laughs> if one of those hits you. <laughs> so you have to be very careful. And one of the shots is two saws with a fire trail. <laughs> oh, hello. That almost killed me. <laughs> I can't go back for the gold because, yeah. <laughs> I'll die. Oh, hey, there's the end of the level, so we're good. <laughs> Let's just go there, because my health is pretty low as it is. And if you notice, like, odd um, performance drops, this isn't a very demanding game. But the performance under Proton has some issues. If you look in the um, Proton DB, you'll see people complaining about the exact same thing. So, I found... I didn't- I don't know if this was always there, but I only noticed it after this update. Oh, I can't shoot it down. I need the, um, the black hole wand that basically just sends flying black holes that eat away at everything they touch. Tentacle with timer. Yes, this is a spell that you can add to a wand, and I'm totally going to buy. Um, because it's actually pretty funny. Uh, let's see. Yep. <laughs> Apparently it shoots the tentacle um, at the exact same time as it does the double shuriken fire thing. What if we get rid of the fire? Because I don't want to die. Yeah, not dying sounds great. So, bloop. Cool. However, if we take this and put it here. Two. Yes. <laughs> One, two, 
there we go. <laughs> no, not Linux native, unfortunately. This was a uh, heretic purchase for me, absolutely. Because, like I said, I've been following this game for the longest time. And yeah, the idea of simulating everything that happens in the game mixed in with a roguelike or roguelite ish type of situation. It's it's nice. Oh. Remember what I was saying about uh, not wanting to die from fire? Well, now I have fire immunity. <laughs> I'm not immune to uh, saws landing on my head, but fire immunity sounds good. There. <laughs> Give the uh, the tentacle some fire. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's um. How did that happen? Oh, it dragged one of the uh, things back with it. Okay, so that's bad. Because <laughs> if it drags one of the, the saws back with itself, I get hit and I die. Huh. Well, the bifurcation on that one wasn't being so helpful, so if we put it here and leave that with just those two, and this one, It'll be much more powerful. Yes. <laughs> and we still have the bandsaws. Which we can mo move things around to make them fire bandsaws. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> oh, I was going to say I can still make it back, but no, not anymore. Ow. <laughs> yeah, they don't want me there anymore. I'm gonna die here. I always die on the third level. <laughs> Floating skulls of frost that deal frost damage even when their projectiles explode. And this one, this looks interesting. Let's... Eh, I, d I have that one, so I don't need the bomb wand. What do you look like? Oh, laser beams. <laughs> right on. How much damage does the laser beam deal? I wonder. 10. And a bandsaw, 20. Okay, so this one's safer from the looks of things. Let's go with that. Something keeps blowing up and shaking the screen. But wherever that's happening, it's not... Oh, that's gonna blow up. That was a nice big hole. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Headshot. <laughs> oh yes, I think I like the laser wand. I think I like the laser wand a lot. <laughs> mm, what's down here? There's a sniper. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, problem with the laser wand? It doesn't shoot very often. <laughs> Those snipers. <laughs> I'm guessing he wasn't there. Nope. <laughs> okay. Oh, lasers also start fires, apparently. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's why I can never um, get through the third level, because it's not so much a uh, like a difficulty ramp, it's a difficulty wall. 
and I run smack first into it. And uh, good luck pronouncing the name of the enemy. I can tell it's a sniper easy. Sniper easy. There. <laughs> okay. The sniper killed me. Figures. New game. <laughs> and yeah, there's gotta be a better way to restart a run without having to quit back to the desktop and starting the game from scratch. Or maybe there's a bit of metagame there that I'm not aware of yet. We'll see. <laughs> Hold on. Down. <laughs> yeah, it killed something. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Always kick the cart down. <laughs> There's some water there. And a twitchy. A twitchy little zombie type of thing. I'm gonna kick that into you. <laughs> yep. Physics skills are still funny. <laughs> Oh, there's a wand. Is that polymorph? Yes. Polymorphine or polymorphin uh, is, um... Well, it's a sort of a potion that once you touch it, you get transformed into something else, like this. <laughs> I'm a sort of sheep with bat wings. And I only have the one HP, so if anything hits me, I die. <laughs> So, we gotta get rid of that. Um, and the best way to get rid of that is to find a way that doesn't have a whole lot of ground underneath it, so we can just drop a bomb. Y'all die. <laughs> Try not to get uh, acid on our robes. So, if we drop a bomb on this one, and then run away. <laughs> okay. Polymorphin potion is draining away, which is kind of the intended purpose. So, that worked well. There's still a lot on top of the uh, pedestal where the wand is. So, if we drop another bomb on this side, and then run away! <laughs> Should let us get to the wand easily enough. Yes! Oh. <laughs> this wand does fire. That's all it does. It's a torch. <laughs> it is literally a torch. Which, it's a torch that uh, is still useful if you run into some wood. You can just hang the torch, the, the wand, near it, and it'll catch fire. And I did that despite those two guys being up there, so one of them is probably gonna fall, or catch fire, or both. <laughs> Shoot him. That's a pile of coal, which is also going to catch fire, and that- uh, now I'm on fire! Great! <laughs> Run away! <laughs> that is not mud. That is oil. <laughs> and if you dunk yourself in oil while you're on fire, guess what happens? <laughs> Alright. Hey, a chest. And it gave us some uh, bonus uh, max HP. Up to 125, which is very nice. But yeah, uh, level 3 seems to be as far as I've gotten. And uh, however many hours it is that I've played this game, because I honestly forgot. Um, let's see. A wand. Oh, it shoots bouncy balls. Right on. <laughs> and a potion. It's a pheromone flask. Copper. <laughs> Not that kind of game, so. 
No need to worry about it, as far as I know. It, copper, probably one of those things that does something really important that I have no idea what it is. And an invisibilium flask. Invisibilium, not billium. <laughs> And that is where that particular uh, scroll lies. There is a, a spell uh, that is um, lava to blood. And basically, if you cast it, it turns all lava that it contacts into blood. I'm pretty sure I need something like that to get through here. Because... Yeah, I really don't have anything else. <laughs> That's, that's a lot of lava. <laughs> it, well, you are a um, a witch or a warlock, or at least that's what the name seems to imply if you translate it from what was it? Finnish? Finnish? Yes. <laughs> so I wonder if what's inside is combustible. We're about to find out. <laughs> so yeah, the answer to that is magic. <laughs> well, it doesn't seem to be catching fire. Oh, it's just sand. Okay, cool. <laughs> Goodbye, sand. <laughs> Sometimes I like to trigger one of these things and just watch it burn. That probably says something about my personality, but... <laughs> in a game like this, you actually get to see the physics taking place and everything sort of reacting to it. It's very nice. Very well done. It's a shame it's not on Linux natively, but... Yeah. It works well enough with the protons. going to wait here and not catch fire like that and then try to find another way down <laughs> we can still see uh, the leftovers of our um, polymorphin explosion there's a wand down there <laughs> Oh, and if I kill an enemy while it's polymorphed, it doesn't drop gold. Well, that's... That's annoying. And yes, the enemies are, are just as vulnerable to uh, the polymorph potion as you are. So... And, of course, the portal room is loaded with the damn thing. <laughs> Figures. Let's see... What's over here? I still have some health. <laughs> There's a dynamite fella that dies. There's probably another portal here without potion around the bottom, so that's good. Oh, there's one of those dicks. <laughs> I mean, we could set it free, but I'm not entirely sure I want to. Well, it's already free. It could totally make this jump, but I see a heart. <laughs> okay, that is exactly what I wanted, and I can exit the level now. <laughs> that was uh, the thing, so... Come on, you ginormous prick. I know you're following me. Come on. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> it bleeds lava. <laughs> of course it bleeds lava. Okay, I'm just going to start filling up the uh, the portal room with lava. In that case, goodbye. <laughs> Hello, Arthurin. And I'm on fire. <laughs> I guess the game didn't immediately teleport me into the portal. It let me drop first and only then 
brought me to this area. Uh, fire and it splits. Honestly, I don't know what I could combine that with. Well, I could combine, I could put some fire on the uh, bouncing bursts. That could work. And we can drop that one for now. And let's see, we can put the fire on this one. Make it a wee bit more useful. And store that spell, and then we'll replace the wand that is now empty with the torch one. Oh ho ho ho! The shield. Permanent shield. So basically, this one deflects um, the first hit that uh, projectile that you would get. It gets deflected. And it then regenerates. It's quick enough on the regeneration that you're very, very much safe with it on, but if a bunch of enemies swarm you and they're shooting a lot at you, it's not gonna save your life. Melee immunity, also very good. And extra life, wow, this, these are all good. So extra life, if we die, we come back. I want the shield though. <laughs> Just because I've seen how effective the shield is. It's nice. Yeah, the bounce pattern on that particular projectile is odd. Rap! <laughs> yes. <laughs> All of that to kill a simple rat. <laughs> There's a potion under this bit of rock. It's a fire flask. So it's basically a jar of lava. <laughs> Come on, come back here. <laughs> come back here and I'll keep pelting you. And now it's shooting tiny versions of itself at me. <laughs> and they have a lot of HP, the damn things. <laughs> okay, what's the side here? Nothing up here, that's the, uh, the store. Uh, that you can see the wands up there and that's whatever secret room it was that they introduced I'm pretty sure they introduced that with the update I have no idea what it does but there's like a shiny crystal there and this game since it doesn't explain anything which is part of the reason why I like it so much uh <laughs> oh great now the floor is acid and the floor where I was standing is also acid <laughs> There's a bonus store that you can buy spells from, but I, um, I don't have enough gold. I only have 18, so, come here. <laughs> I don't have anything that can plow through gray rock. Well, I do have the bombs, but the bombs are just going to roll down and not, uh, be very effective. As I suspected. Yeah. At least the gods of the dungeon don't punish me by trying to blow up a store. <laughs> okay. Let's try to find another way down then. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, no, of course, of course. Water, water, <laughs> water. <laughs> okay, they don't catch fire because they're wet. <laughs> and something, I guess this is inevitable when you have physics in your game, something is very, very glitchy. <laughs> glitchy, glitchy. <laughs> Like those shotgun shots, one of them gets bounced back, the other two still hit me. <laughs> now, I did see that there's a wand right there. But, there's a lot of rock in the way. Unless we go that way. 
What's over here? Oh, by all means, just hover there. That's fine. <laughs> it's like the weight of the wand is on fire. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> what does this do? Deals six damage. Oh, it's an acid projectile. <laughs> and it explodes into uh, a fire. Uh, not fire. Five um, acid projectiles. Ooh. I mean, we can replace the torch. It's not doing much for us. And it is of limited use, so... Could be worth it in the right situation. And we ma managed to get through that without Kenshi on fire. Let's keep that up. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> had to fall in a puddle of acid. There's more acid there. Okay, that's the end of the level. I'm, I'm going. <laughs> I'm going because there's water here. <laughs> and that washes the acid away. Very, very well done game. Hot day. <laughs> and I'm just one short of buying the uh, recoil spell there. Oh well. At least we get strong levitation electricity or revenge explosion pretty sure that's deadly and well you can tell from the explosions uh, happening um, blow me <laughs> that uh, is, we don't want more explosions they talk about ones like they got feelings <laughs> they might I don't know <laughs> okay Strong levitation or electricity? You're immune to electric damage, but metal and liquids around you uh, electrify constantly. Okay, so we know that this is made of metal. Oh, it's the blood. Never mind. <laughs> blood is conductive. <laughs> Makes sense. There's a lot of iron. At least I'm immune. <laughs> oh god, he's got a wand. <laughs> what does that wand do? It's a fire wand. Ow. That was dumb. <laughs> Yeah, that, um, that particular bit of the spell there is very dangerous. <laughs> and I suppose ice is also conductive. So, how about I just take this one back? Okay, okay, cool. <laughs> hey. <laughs> There's another one up there. Um, you give me back my wand. Ooh, that blob of acid, though. <laughs> oh, there was ice in the way. Now there isn't. I want that wand! <laughs> Give me! <laughs> there was another one! <laughs> there it is. Hey, this is very similar to my current one, from the look of it. The fire rate is poop! <laughs> I'm gonna take it back. What the poop? Yes, I can take the poop back. <laughs> there is no poop, unfortunately. <laughs> Ow. Oh, that, um... 
chill dude there is probably going to kill me at this rate. <laughs> ah, I'm stuck in the ice. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, the shield. <laughs> you know what, Icy Dude? I think if you're just going to stay there, you're gonna die. There we go. And uh, this potion made me berserk. Not entirely sure what that does, but we'll find out. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, I'm mostly immune to those guys, as long as it's one at a time. Okay, there's some gold. And now we'll go around here. And of course, uh, my phone starts going off. Good times. Uh, let's see, cannot pick egg. I need to drop something. Okay, so what if I drop this water bottle? Wasn't supposed to go that far, but eh, all right. <laughs> and what does this egg contain? Oh, it has friendly fireflies. Well, they're not so friendly to me, apparently. <laughs> they did not appreciate the, um, the whole being released thing. <laughs> Ow. Ow. <laughs> I mean, that... Well, the projectiles were bouncing off of me, and why didn't I go in the water? Because I'm an idiot, that's why! There we go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that much was uh, already mentioned. Um, <laughs> that's how he levitates. <laughs> I'm going to die, because it's too cold. There we go. And now I have to get back up there without dying from the cold. There we go. Hi. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Very muted hi. <laughs> Let's see. I'm doing all right, considering this is level three. <laughs> I'm not dead yet, so that's good. Not entirely sure what that glitch was, but this looks like more lava. <laughs> or just extremely dense rock. Well, we have to hit the end, right? This has got to end somewhere. Let's find out where. <laughs> Still going. Okay. And way up. And there. And nope. Still nothing. Nothing there yet. <laughs> or here. It's a new glitch for me. <laughs> it can't be. <laughs> the uh, top of the level should be. Very close. I like this <laughs> and we are in a cave, so yes, we are bound to hit the ceiling at some point. Okay, let's see here, and still going. <laughs> wow, there is nothing. <laughs> this seems a bit pointless. Yep, we've reached the top of the cave. <laughs> I ran out of levitation juice. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well, <hey>. Oh ho! <laughs> it's the orb room. <laughs> There's a scroll here. Wow, that's that that that's way too big. Among those who devote themselves to the transmutation of metals, however. There can be no such thing as mediocrity of attainment. 
A person who studies this art must have either everything or nothing. An alchemist who knows only half their craft reaps nothing but disappointment and waste of time and money. Moreover, they lay themselves open to the mockery of those who despise our art. Those, indeed, who succeed in reaching of the goal of the magistry have not only infinite riches, but the means of continued life and health. Hence, it's the most popular of all pursuits. That's good. But, but I want the orb. But Daniel got screwed up because of that. But that was Amnesia. That, that's another game. <laughs> the orb of true knowledge. <laughs> the secrets of stormy skies. <laughs> And yeah, let's not push out of luck. There's probably nothing in there. Okay, let's go back down then. <laughs> Don't you worry, Morrowind will be back. There's another orb up there, isn't there? I heard the noise of orb. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I suspected that they wouldn't just, you know, put something like this here and waste our time. The touch of water. That's a spell. Aha! There's the lava. <laughs> Ooh. Transmutes everything in a short radius into water, including walls, creatures, and you. <laughs> Seems dangerous. <laughs> Creates a thundercloud. Drains some mana. It's limited to five uses. Alright. If we make it to the end of the level, I might put that on a wand. Whee! There's another orb about halfway down this place, but... <laughs> Something followed me. <laughs> okay, the projectiles are fine. The uh, freezing mist, not so much. Okay. <laughs> See what I mean about this shield? <laughs> we can totally watch Dory draw something. If she ever wants to do a stream about drawing, we can totally arrange that. <laughs> Artharin is um, mentioning that uh, it'd be nice to watch you draw something. <laughs> that was a sound, ha. <laughs> Guess not then. <laughs> How much? <laughs> Put it on eBay and sell for hundreds of pounds. There you go. <laughs> Are you buying it? <laughs> yeah, Mir. <laughs> Are you buying? <laughs> I don't want diarrhea. <laughs> Those are big blobs, and I don't have a whole lot of health left. Big blobs, quadruple scatter. So if I replace this one. Oh, that does deal a lot of damage. <laughs> but I do need to find the end of the level, because I don't have a whole lot of health left. <laughs> And there's a wand embedded in the ice. Well, I do have bombs. Bomb. 
So I have to get to the one, so another bomb. <laughs> well, Nori got really close to the microphone like she was going to say something and then she did. <laughs> You can. <laughs> Stupid sniper. Of course it killed me. <laughs> well, if you want to shamelessly self-promote, now's the time. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram to see my crap. Um, yes, I know that's a microphone. <laughs> y yeah, you need to speak into the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, speak. Follow me on Instagram. For more of my crap, it's really crap, but you can follow me. It's at mind the corner, mind underscore the underscore corner. There you go. Thank you. Bye. There you go. Shameless self promotion by Nori. <laughs> Nori does have a Twitter, but she doesn't use it. I will eventually, sometime in my life. Okay. <laughs> Well, with that uh, little bit of uh, shameless self-promotion, don't worry, Mir, I'll type that out. Um, I guess that uh, puts uh, a game over on this stream, in a literal sense. And uh, yes, tomorrow, uh, join me for... Oh, join me, Van, and Jill for Linux Weekly Little Wednesdays. You can join uh, Jordan for his... Uh, Thursday stream, and of course, Ven will bring you the Friday night foobar on Friday. Who'd have thunk it? And of course, uh, on Saturday, you have the big show, Linux Gamecast Weekly, and it was a big show. If you didn't watch um, last Saturday's show, you you should. It's, it's really big, but it is actually a really nice show, so you should totally uh, go over to our uh, YouTube channel and check that out if you're into that. So, thank you all very much for watching, and I shall see you tomorrow. Uh, bye bye